Hey guys, it's Jake here. I'm not sure if I'm coming to you from Canadian Cutting Edge or Goods, Gadgets, and Gear because since I worked with uh, GearBest, I'm not sure if this package is gear stuff, good stuff, or if it's knife stuff. So we're going to open this up and we'll see. There's at least two things in here. There's at least two things in here. I've got my G3 Puko Lite. I still have not done my review for this. I'm planning it for uh, February 1st, 2018. So if it's still before then, this is what you're going to be expecting for that day. I hope that's how it works out. <laughs> Sometimes my scheduling doesn't always work the way I think. Ah, this is going to be for Canadian Cutting Edge. I've got one thing. I've got two things. I've got three things. I've got four things. So let's go from smallest box to biggest box, why don't we? Smallest box is a Y start. And this is a knife that I've been waiting for for a long time. At least I've been wanting it for a long time. It hasn't taken that super long to ship it to me. I'm very surprised it comes in such a, a, a nondescript little box like this. Uh, this thing is, I think it retails around 75. I'm not sure exactly what the price is. I'll have it on the screen right here. It's, uh, wow, that's a very, that finish on here feels different than anything else I've had from Y Start before. I think it's supposed to be titanium. That flipped out quite nice. VG10 steel blade. Frame lock, proper custom pocket clip, not some aftermarket thing. I mean, not some, you know, bulk box clip that they just attached. This thing's clearly made for this knife. It's uh, a backspacer, but it's nice and clean, open, like an open pillar construction. A uh, sort of modified tanto, so you get a rounded belly of a tip, but there's a bit of a transition point right there. Yep, there's a definite transition. It's not just smooth right over. So uh, we're going to call this a modified Tanto. So the review for this guy will be coming up hopefully in February. I've got so many knives that I've got on my list right now. It feels really nice. It feels about six ounces though. Maybe not. Maybe my weight is just a little bit off. It's got a couple cool little things I've noticed already. Even the flipper tab right there. It's got a little mill out section on the inside edge right there several cool things and i do like this in purple you can get it in just sort of a gray finish as well very nice next one is from two knife and i do like two knife ever since they turned the corner last year uh, i like they're okay before but they've become much nicer since they turned that corner and we've got a fixed blade here in this box. And it's a nice little sort of gentleman style fixed blade. It even says Gent dash H. But it's a 5CR15 MOV steel blade. So I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna think of it. We're gonna see how well it performs. Full tang blade, wood handles, and uh, that looks like genuine Kydex. And a uh, nice friction hold there. So there you go. I think this is going to serve well for when I go camping to be a bit of a uh, kitchen camp knife. It's probably how I will end up using this. Uh, let me see. Oh, this way, yep. Yeah. Holds very well. And of course, you could tie it off and wear it like a neck knife. Very interesting. We'll see what we think of this guy. And while we've got four different brands here today, this guy is HX Outdoors. And uh, a little magnetic door on here. It's another fixed blade knife. And a little bit loose in there. 
maybe it's because like it's minus 20 outside, but I don't think Kydex changes the size very much. But uh, I'm working on building my own Kydex press. And so I'd be able to heat this up and repress it, squeeze it in tight. Uh, I don't know if the average guy would be able to do that or not, but I'll probably be able to do that. We'll see. We're working on it. So Kydex sheath, uh, one of those. Um, those. <laughs> Why is my brain blank for trying to think of what this is? 440C stainless steel, coated, um, saber grind. Very interesting, is it? No, that's right. Yeah, saber grind. It's just when it's all black and in certain light, you can't quite see. This is the D161, D-161, also called the Soper V or Soper 5 tactical knife. Don't really like that logo on there. I wish that was just all black right there. But, you know, the blade could be stripped and just have a nice satin look to it. You've got uh, no lanyard hole. I'm surprised. No lanyard hole at all. You've got a hole at the top here and then some on the blade. The handle sort of curves back. It actually fits in the hand fairly well. I've got large hands bordering on extra large. Somebody with extra large hands is going to find this okay. There's, see if I go up like this, look at all that extra room still. And a 440C is not a bad steel. Generally, HX Outdoors uses the steel that they claim to use. We'll get a review on this fixed blade coming up. And finally, uh, by the way, all of these knives are knives that have been sent to me by GearBest at their expense. I will still work extremely hard to give you, I'll still work extremely hard to give you an objective review. And what do we have? Okay, it's not folding out. So hold, this is a SEMA, by the way. It says SEMA right there. Let's get this box to open up without dumping everything everywhere. There's SEMA. There's the Karambit. I am not a fighter. Like, I've, I've done, I don't train in fighting knives and how to use them and stuff. Uh, this is a very thick, heavy OS 8 major recurve blade, <laughs> which a Karambit is. Um, so I'm not exactly sure how you're supposed to hold these or use them. Uh, my review will concentrate on its uh, how good it is in terms of its build quality, and uh, you know, you know if the you know, if this hurts on your fingers when you're using it, or, or whatever, uh, that kind of review, how comfortable it is. I'm not going to try to show you how to use it, <laughs> but uh, there you go. I just thought, uh, well, I knew that there were some people asking for these kinds of knives, and so I wanted to review one. Uh, they got OS 8 steel on here, so that's sort of a entry-level kind of steel, at least what I call entry-level. Uh, what GearBest calls entry-level is another thing. There's an awful lot of knives on GearBest that have um, stuff like 5CR15, which is you know a step or two lower than OS 8 indeed, and I try not to too many of the lower, the really lowest grade steels. I try to find budget steels that uh, most people will still want to have. Uh, you know, once you know a little bit about steels, then uh, you start learning that there's some steels that just aren't worth buying because, you know, they're just not up to the kind of, kind of quality that the average guy wants. So yeah, maybe I'll watch a couple of videos on how to use a Karambit so I can better evaluate this thing. But there you go, these four knives. We got this SEMA Karambit. We've got HX Outdoors, a tactical knife. We've got this uh, two knife, uh, sort of sharp edged butter knife. <laughs> Maybe it's a letter opener. And we have, by way of final reminder, this Y start in purple or in gray. I kind of like the folding knife the best <laughs> just because I'm really much, I'm really a folding knife kind of guy. So thanks for watching this unboxing and a very, very initial kind of opinion of these knives. 
We're gonna, we're gonna get full reviews to you very soon. I am liking the look of this knife more and more as I hold it. We'll see you next time, guys. Remember, always cut towards your chums and not your thumbs. Bye now.